it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and this video is five things that I do buy to resell. This is a sister video to the one that I put out recently about five things that I do not buy. Things that I don't like buying, things that I just have no interest in buying. If you're interested in that video, you can click on the link up top and it'll take you straight to it. But this one, we will be focusing on things that I actually enjoy, to buy, enjoy buying, things that bring good money, and all around, I have a great time with. So first thing on the list is kitchenware. It has to be the first one on the list because it is probably one of the biggest, you know, everyone is buying the Pyrex or the Tupperware or the, you know, whatever. It's a huge market out there because we have so many fond memories of all the potlucks and dinners and all of the family gatherings with the vintage cookware, the things, you know, your grandma brought and she had her famous recipe or whatever in it. And there's just so many avenues and aspects to kitchenware that is interesting to me. So I find it highly collectible. I love buying kitchenware and there's, there's just really, it's just a really good market. Number two on the list is actually collectibles and figurines. So this is probably maybe the hardest one for certain people to get, you know, if you're really not into it. And I'm going to flat out say, the reason these things are on my list is because they actually interest me. It's not that I'm looking to make a lot of money, you know, that because there are items on the other list, five things that I do not buy that probably make a lot more money, but it's not, it's not always about the money. It's about enjoyment and really having a fulfillment in what you're doing. So let me just put that out there, but collectibles, there can be good money in it, but not all the time. And I think a lot of people struggle with, well, what is a good collectible figurine? you know, what should I be looking for? And that's a whole separate topic. Actually, if you're interested in that topic, uh, my friend, Ann Eckhart, she is a fellow YouTuber. I will link her video in the description where she talks about collectible figurines and what to look for, what, you know, what she looks for in a figurine. And I will probably agree with everything that she mentions. I actually watched that video. It's a good one. So if you're wondering about figurines, yeah, they can be collectible. They can have a brand name to them. They can be old, you know, there's many different reasons what makes a good one. But at the end of the day, as a, for me, a reseller, I buy, this is with everything, I buy what I like. It may sound kind of like a cop out, but that's the reality of it. You know, you, you're living with this stuff. You have to love what you're buying. Otherwise you'd go nuts. You, you would go bonkers with all of the inventory. You'd be looking at it probably in just annoyed that you have it maybe i love the stuff that i have I, I love that i have it for a while it'll be great when it sells but for the most part that's what you're looking for whenever you're buying anything but figurines and collectibles you know it, it's kind of this emotional thing uh for the most part uh, or if it's a collectible brand you kind of have to learn about that but if it's a collectible brand then there's good money in those and you'll know that they'll probably sell pretty quickly but yes figurines definitely is something that I have been buying for a very long time, seven, eight years old, not to resell, mind you know, uh, but I was buying them even back then because I just think they're the cutest little things. So figurines made it on the list as its own category, collectibles figurines. Next thing on the list is actually decor. This is a very, very broad category, so I'm gonna kind of delve in a little bit deeper and uh, tell you just what the, all that entails, but actually I had to write it down just because uh, lamps. That's decor. I buy lamps. Uh, people love vintage lighting. It completely can change the mood of a room. It, they go for good money. Usually I am pretty selective with lamps. I don't buy as many as I could. Uh, we're talking like lamps and it's kind of out of frame right now, but this is a lamp over here that would go on a table next to a couch. Those are large. So I try not to buy them, but that does not stop me from still buying some and I've got them in the back room. They're just collecting dust right now because I don't like shipping them. I don't like, I just, but I enjoy lamps because of the style and what they bring in that regard. The lamps that I do buy, and I never really pass up, are the ones that are smaller, gooseneck style usually I will buy because they can be folded about this size and put into a box to ship. So we're talking the mid-century gooseneck, uh, 50s, 60s, lamps that you put on a desk or a, a utility light these kind of things you're thinking about the style of the lamp is it um is it a what's that word 
where they use the Edison bulbs. It's not farmhouse. It's like this industrial. Uh, are, so is it going to be used for industrial reasons? Is it going to be used in a mid-century type of a... So for those reasons, I focus on lamps as one of the things that I like to purchase in the decor realm. Another thing, uh, trash cans. Uh, something many people probably don't think about, but vintage trash cans are really cool. You know, if it's from the 60s, 70s, they can have really fun colors. Uh, even back in 20s, 30s, you might have a really cool uh, Hollywood Regency trash can. And you know, they brought those back in the 70s, but you know, I'm just saying, there's these styles that are really cool. And if you're looking out, uh, if you're looking at the style as a whole, uh, trash, they, they, they apply to trash cans too. And if you're trying to put together a period style room or with a certain kind of a vibe, well, a new trash can isn't gonna do it. So uh, that's something pre prob probably people don't think about. Uh, but yeah, trash cans too. Uh, now, so we're still in the decor category here. I, I count trash cans as decor. <laughs> wall decor. It kind of goes beyond saying wall decor, sort of like what I have above me, which is not vintage, but uh, that's big lot circa 2012. <laughs> but uh, yeah, wall decor, it's, it's you, you get it. Uh, candle holders, you know, kind of goes in with the dining and, and kitchenware stuff, but things that you put candles in, uh, decor, stuff like that. Um, picture frames, you got it, picture frames. Vases. Okay. Um, that said, a lot of the vases and stuff don't really go for a lot of money. So that is, you got to be, you know, really know what you're doing on that. But I do like picking that kind of stuff up. So that is the decor region of the list. Decor. The next thing that I pick up is actually linens. So item number four is linens. That goes for tablecloths, uh, pillowcases, blankets, sheets, uh, towels, bath towels. I know that might sound really weird, but bath towels, vintage bath towels, I mean, they have some really fun patterns, especially the 70s. Uh, but you know, they you just can't buy stuff like that now. Sometimes, yes, they will bring styles back and you can buy them for, uh, you can buy, you know, buy them to make, to look like they're older, but for the most part, mm -hmm. it, nothing beats but for the most part, nothing beats the real thing. And you're never going to replace that authenticity, let's call it. So bath towels, whether or not they're used, I have no clue, but I've sold a lot of bath towels and they could just as well be hung on the wall for decor or a hand towel. You know, that you could do that if you're afraid of using actually a, a whole body one, but uh, yes. So linens category, tablecloths, all of that, very interesting to me. Uh, I like picking those things up when I can. And actually the last thing on the list is, I put technology down here, but what I really mean by technology is clocks and radios. Clocks and radios are very cool because of the look. And that is true with everything here that I've mentioned. It's all a style thing. So I purchase things based on the style, not so much on if it's actually from 1954 or 1922 uh, you know however i'm not going to buy things that are purchased you know that are sold right now at walmart or target made to look like the stuff from the 70s that's kind of you know i won't be doing that but i'll just purchase the stuff from the 70s so people so anyways people that are out there right now the style the style right now is like 70s 60s uh on the whole and then there's some like shoot offs that people are going to uh, even farther back, 50s, 40s, 30s, 20s. And then there's shoot-offs even in the 80s, 90s. But for the most part, the grand style that's being represented in Better Homes and Gardens and on, on TV and everything is a mixture of like this country, shabby, 1970s, bohemian, mixed with mid-century, mixed with industrial. And yes, that's a lot of styles. I get it. But they are actually all used sometimes together Maybe not all of them, but they're, 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 they're juxtapositioned. So that general arena of styles right now are really popular. So whenever I see things that are from the 50s, 60s, 70s that fit what's being sold right now at the stores, I'm going to buy them because there's a certain segment of the market out there that really enjoys that style and wants the original thing. They, 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 maybe they do the research on something and are like, okay, I could buy this really cool Starburst clock right now 
or I could buy a real Starburst clock online for 90 bucks, you know, or sometimes 60, but you know, so that's sort of what I'm getting at is uh, I purchase things based on the style and what's popular. And so I really got off on a tangent. Vintage clocks, vintage radios, they're awesome and cool. So that is the list. That is the five things that I do purchase to resell. Oh, uh, once again, if you're interested in the five things that I do not sell and do not buy and just ignore completely, look at the top there, click on that link and it'll take you straight to it. But thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye-bye.